Pirate Radio. If you live within range of one or more of the land-based pirate stations that have carried on from where Caroline left off, you'll know that some people have been taking the airwaves into their own hands. All the pirate stations want to play pop music, either specialist or top 40, and as Mary Finnegan reports, they lead a very precarious existence. Oh, I can't see anything here, can we? All right, just let our eyes adjust. Now, the one thing I don't want to do is to fall onto your transmitter, so do you think perhaps I'd better stay up here? That's probably the best idea, yes. Yes. Shall I hold uh, the torch? Um, uh, yeah, possibly that might be a good idea. Luckily, the aerial's already been set up, so we don't have to go climbing around on the roof. Uh, and it's all still here, so they haven't been. No, no. So, what are you going to do now? Uh, well, I've got to put the tape, which has just been recorded, it's hot off the uh, tape machine, back at the studio, and all the uh, presenters have recorded their their programmes, and we've got to put the tape on, which is in this bag. There we are, the fruit of three hours' work this morning. Alright. So they only start recording the tape that's going to go out today. That's correct. Well, in the early morning. It's often it's done live with, um, with radio link systems, but uh, due to uh, three home office raids recently, we've uh, been reduced to using uncomplicated equipment like old tape machines. Sunday afternoon on the 20th floor of a tower block in London, Radio Zodiac is just about to go on air. All over Britain the story is the same. Almost without exception, Sunday is their day for Jackie, Invicta, JFM, Merseyland, etc. Because none of them have the resources to broadcast more than once a week, none of them are in it for the money, and not many of them are too professional either. <laughs> This is Alice's Restaurant on 90.2 MHz VHF. And if the record jumps in between now and when the next person speaks, it's because somebody's jogged the table, the record X on. OK, right, I'm going now. Bye, bye, everybody. Well, I'm here in the studio, so I don't even know where you live. Interject. Don't worry, your petition forms are coming. Oh, they did? Oh, well, you said to us... <laughs> Excuse me. This week, that didn't. Could we stop arguing over the airwaves, please, <laughs> gentlemen? It all happens on JFM, I tell you, especially between two and five. I can't read this letter out now. There's no way I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a little bit of jazz, eh? But one or two do get close to polished presentation. That was Pig Bag, and the record you voted number one in 1981 on our Top 100, which we put out on New Year's Day, and Pup has got a brand new Pig Bag, and before that, their new release on Y Records called Getting Up. This is Zodiac on 94.4 FM, and uh, you know our phone number if you'd like to give us a ring with anything that you'd like to put out over the air. So if you're doing something interesting, then do give us a ring, and also for requests and dedications. After the next record, we've got uh, Stephen Jeffries with our Theatre Spot, and later on also John the Pet Poet with the Poetry Spot, so stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, here's a new single from a flock of seagulls. Why do they do it? Zodiacs, Roger Vosine. We're all a bunch of nutters, really. I mean, we have to be, because some of the things we find ourselves doing to, to put a station on the air, I mean, those stations that uh, don't broadcast from um, flats or houses and places, they go out in the field and, I mean, you, you'd go through sort of pouring rain, climbing trees to put aerials up and doing all sorts of lunatic things, you know, just to get a station on the air. I mean, you do have to be very committed and a bit crazy to do it. And having done it, how do they avoid the detector vans? The main thing to do is, um, if you get raided by the authorities, is to, um, you can lose your equipment, but don't get caught because equipment is invariably cheaper than getting a fine. So um, the uh, ultimate aim is for unmanned transmitters and broadcasting. And uh, usually this involves sort of tape machines uh, being set up um, with timers to turn them on and off. Um, having radio links between studios and transmitters if you want to do a live broadcast and turning them off on and off remotely. There's lots of other sort of uh, little secrets that we can't reveal that um, we use. And I mean, invariably, when we do get raided, the Home Office find out our methods of uh, avoiding them. And we often leave little messages by the transmitters for them as well, you know, so there's a, there's a bit of rapport between us. Radio Jackie is successful enough to sell advertising space. 
and Jack is Mike Knight would like to go legal. We asked him why. We call ourselves an independent radio station. Um, we haven't got a licence, that's just something we don't like to think about too much. Um, but we are providing a service for the public, which most of the other stations that are broadcasting in London aren't. They're in it for a laugh, to impress their friends, just to have a good time. And they, don't, they don't really care about the listeners, they don't, they're not always regular, um, their transmitters are of poor quality, they cause interference. A lot of these stations broadcast from uh, blocks of flats in London, from the roofs of blocks of flats where they break in, they, they steal electricity, and uh, a lot of them, uh, you know, we, we'd be very pleased if they were closed down. Yeah.